As much as I'd love to move these batteries over to the tray and bolt them in right now, there is one more step that I have to do. But before I jump into that, I'd like to thank our sponsors for this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform that can help you do several things for your business, including building a website, but I'll talk more on them later. So here we go. I have all six of these BMS's ready to go. They have strips of copper soldered on, uh, the holes are all lined up, they're ready for the bolts. Now as much as I would love to bolt these right onto the batteries right now, I'm going to wait until I move the batteries over to the tray, which is over that direction. Now the batteries behind me, they're almost ready to go. <laughs> I've got every wire soldered on, all the BMS wires uh, soldered on and taped off and they are ready to go and I've even got these middle ones ready to go so all six however uh, before I go and I move these over to the tray uh, there is something else I'd like to do throughout the build process of these batteries I've been trying to leave this portion right here open and unobstructed there's been several times when I've thought about maybe bolting to the side of these or doing something different but I really wanted to leave them open just like they were originally. Now the reason I wanted to leave them open was for attaching these heat sinks. Now this is a heat transfer plate made out of aluminum and I'm trying to keep it away from the battery a little bit but as you can see it would have two nipples on there and the hoses would attach and the coolant could flow up and around and then back down. These used to sit right on top here you can even see the notch in the aluminum where those two those two nipples would stick down and I'm putting this on upside down again I don't want to lay this piece of aluminum right on top of the batteries right now and short anything out when using these batteries in a home backup system a DIY power wall they are subjected to a lot less amperage than they used to be so the, the heat sinks are really just a backup way of ensuring that we don't have hot spots in the system but I'm not planning on running coolant through here. So I'm going to go and cut all these nipples off because they actually will interfere with where I'm going to be mounting the BMSs, which are going to be right on these back plates. You can see it's almost as tall as the battery itself, and those nipples that would poke down right here, they'd interfere with the wiring. Now that these nipples are cut off, I'm almost ready to attach them. 
But before I do, notice there's aluminum on the bottom side here, and all these tops of the, all these tabs of the battery are exposed. So I can't just lay this directly on. I need to isolate it electrically so it doesn't short out. That's what these little thermal pads were. And they're kind of sticky on one side and not sticky on the other. They were meant just to lay down here. Uh, and that way it thermally conducts to the aluminum but doesn't short out. Now this is the only one that actually looks in fairly decent shape and as you can see some of it even peeled off. But most of them peeled apart into pieces when I pulled them off this because they stuck on. So I ordered some replacements. Uh, these are generic from China. And here's the pieces, so I'm going to have to cut them lengthwise. fit really well. So now I can take the aluminum plate and put it on here. So I'm going to keep cutting up these mats and putting them in place. And I think that will work. Nothing is blown up. <laughs> checking the holes are lining up and they are which means we have our distance good see I can tighten up these bolts a little bit more or a little bit less but it looks like we're, we're doing just fine these also have a little bit of play in them back and forth so I can finish tightening these up once I tighten up these plates then the whole module can't be moved anymore We've got the aluminum plates on top with the new heat transfer uh, pad in between. Uh, everything's looking great. Uh, over here we've got our BMSs and we've I've added extra solder on the BMSs uh, so that there's a good connection. One of these holes will be bolted and the other one I just wanted the see there's going to be a bolt in here and the other side there's no bolt so I brought the solder up uh, over. I thought that would help a little bit. Yeah, they're all going to be like this. This is some uh, heat shrink tubing. Same stuff that I used right here. I just put it around the nut. I'd like to thank our sponsors for this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform online that helps you uh, buy Hi. domain names, uh, build a website. Uh, you can host the, the website right there on Squarespace. And since they have pre-made templates, they really make it easy for somebody like me, who's not a computer programmer at all, uh, to go ahead and build a website. And I don't have to worry about programming in the background and how to do all that stuff. All I can worry about is building my content on the website. Uh, so thank you very much Squarespace for making it so easy for somebody like me. Head over to Squarespace, you can do a free trial, and when you're ready, uh, you can use the link and code below uh, to get 10% off your first domain name purchase. So head over there now, and thank you all very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>